Yeah, Community Foundation came to Slingshot um, because they were um, really just in the Finkbine Mansion and were renting some space next door and really looking for a way to expand their offices. So the C3 Center was built as the hub for the nonprofit community here in Greater Des Moines. Uh, the Community Foundation has been in the Finkbine for about 23 years and we outgrew our space. In addition, we hold trainings and uh, conduct meetings often for the community. And so this gave us space to have those and have a bigger table to bring people around. But even beyond that, try to create, have some larger spaces that would bring in, they could bring in community events, have some training facilities, but also to invite in other nonprofits into a future building. So they we've helped them evaluate two different properties, this one being one and another one taking over more space in another uh, uh, building adjacent to the, the, the Finkbine Mansion. Um, and being the Finkbine Mansion, it's historic. It just doesn't have large spaces, so it really could not meet those goals. Two sides of the building sit on the property line. There's uh, overhead and underground utilities all throughout the site no space for staging so it was a real group effort for everyone on site as well as the owners and the neighbors working together. Uh, one of the largest challenges with this building is, is when we got in the demo phase um, we discovered the existing CMU and the column footings were in poor, sh poor shapes. Um, we had to oversize the column footings and add about 60 plus pilasters to the exterior of the building. Um, the footprint of the building is not huge the property is not huge but one challenge that we had was logistically where do we put everything um, the phasing of the project um, we had to use pretty much every square foot of the property that we could possibly use and the 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 neat thing about all of that was the architects hansen company they sat with us and had conversations really to understand what our goals were for the space how we were going to use the space who was going to be in the space to really design and build it the way that would be most beneficial for our organization and those that we were serving. Yeah, I mean, the the impact in the community I've really enjoyed. I work for a few other nonprofits that have actually come into the building for their own purposes, didn't even realize that we were the architect, but they, they would say, oh, I've just been in this space, really, really liked it. And I was like, thanks very much. That's wonderful. I mean, just to be able to hear that back through the community from other nonprofits that's really what the goal of this project was. So the C3 Center was really built to be a hub for our nonprofit sector. Um, C3 is kind of a play on words. We serve the 501c3 organizations in our community, um, but we also know that this is a place where we want community connection and collaboration. And so what we have already seen in the less than a year that we've been in the space is we've had hundreds, if not thousands of people already in the space for trainings, leadership education, community conversations around the most important issues in our community. And so I think what we will continue to see as we occupy this space and have more people in here is the positive impact in the community um, from today's leaders to the upcoming leaders that we will see coming through the doors. The winner of the 2024 Masters Awards one to $10 million category is Hanson Company for the C3 Center. Please come to the stage to accept your award.